Hey, Long Haul Larry, Big Blue. We are actually in the town of Lor, 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 Lor. I think it's Lor. L O R City, Ohio. It is November 27th, 2018. And it's a whopping 30 degrees here. This is that little truck stop right there at uh, mile marker 186 on 70, just in Ohio. I actually shut down last night. I um, was coming here and I had about an hour and 20 some minutes left to drive. And yeah, I was gonna stop here quick and throw my garbage up. My garbage can is kind of full, but I'll have to stop and fuel tonight, and I'll just do it then. Um, I had about an hour and twenty some minutes left that I could drive last night when I got here, but that would have got me like right to Columbus, Ohio. And you know, where are you gonna find a park, a place to park? And once you get close to Columbus, all the places are gonna be full. Okay, dude, don't use a blinker. Just a truck driver just rolling along. No blinker. So I just shut her down here. Left me with like an hour and something. I think it was like an hour and 15 minutes by the time I got parked and everything. There was a bunch of spots in there, so. But I just got off the phone with uh, JBG Travels. You guys uh, watch his videos or not? My artist having a conversation. I called him about something that uh, we couldn't record, but I didn't want to be recorded on. But John, it's hard to get catch him when he's not recording. So I'll call him back later. Um, If you heard our conversation, we were talking and kind of joking around about different stuff. Um, he was saying that Boss Man has actually sent him pictures of his new truck. So I don't know. He's either playing up the ruse that he actually is getting a new truck or maybe he actually is. Who knows? But I guess that if you go to his uh, channel, I guess he, he said there would be a link over there that you can click on, and I think it takes you to his Patreon page. And I don't think you have to pay to see it. He was saying something about it's set up as public. So you don't have to actually pay to see the pictures, and you can see a few pictures of, I guess, his new truck. John, when I was talking to him about 15 minutes ago, he was just coming up 75, almost to 70. So he is probably about probably about three, three and a half hours ahead of me. So I won't be catching him at all. And I, I tell you the truth, I don't even know where he's going to. I never did ask him. But we're heading to Shanu, Wisconsin. talking to John over at JVG Travels and we were, he was like, oh, you're probably going to run 30, you know, and all that up. I probably won't today. Uh, the main reason why is because it's kind of snowing and stuff. And generally, you do not want to go north when it's snowing in Ohio up towards the toll road and that's what the 30 does. Is it roads up towards that toll road. And um, there's always a lot of lake effect snow up there so that's one of the main reasons why boss man doesn't want us running up there i think the main reason is because he doesn't want to pay the tolls which i completely understand uh but 
he also says that you know they get such big storms and sometimes it just gets shut down and everything else and he doesn't want his trucks getting stuck out there so uh, he's he's correct they get a, sometimes they get some pretty big storms from lake effects and all up there so I'll probably be just running across 70 going all the way over to Indianapolis and then running 65 up I'll probably hit some traffic in Indianapolis coming around there service truck. Let's go.
here we're gonna have our sales and way station. <coughs> I've actually never been pulled into this way station. I'm looking for a piece of wood to knock on, but I can't find one. Um, I've always been pre pass through here. winners for the gift cards and communicating back and forth and stuff I've never had these issues and uh, the one guy he we, we we talked right away and stuff and I sent him the gift card right away and then he got back to me yesterday and says you know I know you're busy and stuff but I still haven't received this gift card I, you know how long will it take Usually when you buy the gift card, it goes out within like five minutes. And and uh, so I had to do a bunch of investigating with that. I actually had to call Amazon because I finally figured out what I did. When I typed in the guy's email address, I put an extra E in it. And so it sent it to the wrong email address. Well, let's see if they're gonna be open or not. Yeah, they're open, but I got a green light. I love those pre-pass things. I just really do. I don't like them in Virginia. Virginia doesn't seem to work well for pre-pass, but most other places they work. It works really good. I got a silver truck that drives right next to me. It doesn't matter if I go 72 miles an hour or if I go 65. This silver truck is just right next to me. Let's see if I can slow down. So now they're gonna slowly come up. I got my 
my truck. So it's a dirt truck. I always find this funny. I got my truck with zero down. <laughs> and I never paid it off. Or I had some lease and some balloon lease thing and I ended up having that I couldn't afford it at the end so I never actually did own the truck is what basically you're saying. I am not a fan of those lease purchase things from those companies. Well, I think I'll let you guys go. Popo was sitting in the middle there. I think I'll let you guys go and I'll catch you later. See ya. Well, guys, here we are. We're running across Ohio, coming into Indiana. As you can see, snow. Just a light flurries. Nothing making the road slippery or anything. Slow down. I don't want to slow down. Big solar farm off on the right there.
where he should be. shut it down because I'm pretty much going to hit uh, Indianapolis at rush hour. So, I really just don't see the purpose of doing it.
looks like there's a TA up here and there's also a Loves. Uh, I'll probably pull it into one of those places and shut it down for a couple hours. The traffic work its way out. I'm showing that I'll arrive at 11.30 p.m. up there to Shano, but my delivery probably won't, I'm guessing that it's one o'clock tomorrow. They always, whenever they send you the SIM from on this load, it always says deliver by noon. But it's always a one o'clock appointment. So, yeah, during the week and stuff, they they only take my appointment. They won't take me until one o'clock. So I might as well just uh, do this and shut it out, let the traffic clear out. Have a little bit of a less stressful drive. So I think I'll let you guys go. Just running, running westbound, and got this little bit of snow to deal with. Nothing major. Catch you guys later. I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day, great 